Hey, YouTube. Hey, guys. All right, I, so I keep getting a bunch of emails and uh, people asking about what we did to fix Extruder 1, or uh, specifically in your case, the Extruder gear not spinning. Those of you that remember, uh, a few weeks ago we had some issues with this printer and our Extruder 1 just stopping randomly. It would uh, spin for the first couple of layers and then it would just quit working. Um, you would have to reset the printer and it would work again for a couple of layers and then it would have the same issues. So, just to kind of go over it, do a, a video on exactly what we did to fix it, uh, kind of show you guys the, the steps we went through and, and get you guys taken care of so you can get your own machines up and running again because it sucks having these really cool printers not working. So the first thing is we actually reached out to Prusa and they sent us a brand new buddy board. This is the bad one that came out of this machine. We've already replaced it. So step one, we got a new buddy board. We put in that buddy board and then I'm going to show you on extruder 4 because the uh, printer is actively printing and I don't want to unplug anything. Then we replaced the, the dwarf board on, on ours. It was extruder 1, but the dwarf board. So right here, this specific connector plugs into your dwarf board on your extruder. And those, for whatever reason, uh, had a an issue with shorting out. It would stop working, a piece overheated. I don't know if they officially came to a conclusion on what was going on with them, um, but ours ours was just dying out. So we actually replaced this little plastic part here. It pops up, it secures your wiring into the dwarf board. Um, there's a new STL for that part on Prusa's site download it reprint it the specs are a little bit different on the new ones so we reprinted that device or that uh connector specifically and we actually ended up replacing the wiring just because uh we we wanted to kind of get it all done in one thing so we didn't have to worry about it um, i don't believe it was the wiring from what our intel is is that while this thing is printing sorry trying to get a good view of it here for you guys while it is printing down there, uh, let's see if we can get it to focus. There you go. That little connector, as it docks and undocks and shakes around, um, this little connector wasn't holding it tight enough and was slowly wiggling that connector on the dwarf board, causing issues for that. So with the new specifications on this, these things are a lot tighter. They don't move around. Um, it seems to hold it in place perfectly. We have been printing almost nonstop on this printer since we got it up and going, and we haven't had an issue with this particular extruder or with any of the other ones. We did end up reprinting all five and got them all taken care of, so we're not running into that issue anymore. Um, and as of right now, everything seems to be going I know a lot of people were talking about overheating and trying to get vents and fans back here onto your board system so that they would stay cool. Ours hasn't had any, any complaints. This room stays about 70 degrees all the time. Uh, we do have an enclosure for this machine, but it has never been enclosed. So overheating for us has not been an issue. It does get decent airflow in this room. This room is pretty, pretty good size. But for those of you that are wanting to know what we did to fix it and try and get your own XLs up and running, that is what we did. Get your buddy board from Prusa. Get the dwarf board for the extruder that is not working. And reprint these little connectors with an extruder that is currently working and just replace them all. Do it all at once, be done with it, and you should be good to go. Um, I have not had the multiple issue or the multiple extruder issue that a couple of you guys have mentioned. I imagine that's something with the buddy board on that uh, where it's affected, you know, multiple extruders. Mine was just extruder one. So going back at it, I would imagine it was probably just the dwarf board. But those are the steps that we took to get our machine up and running. It has run flawlessly for 
uh, minus a, a shifted print, but I think that was my kids moving the build plate. Um, it has run pretty flawlessly since then, uh, and it prints, honestly, nonstop. It, it does uh, several multi-day prints in a row. Um, but yeah, that's what you guys need to do. Get in contact with Prusa, get the parts, get your printers up and going. Hope it, hopefully this video helps out. If it does, I always appreciate a like and subscribe on the video. Thank you.